hello guys welcome back in this video we are going to work on dimension filters which uh, with the specific wild card filter we are discussing in this video so there are three types of filters one is uh, general wild card and top bottom so top bottom comes in one that's the reason i have said three type of filters in the dimension okay <laughs> and measures we do have other filters also so how to know that you will just click on some category here and I'm gonna add sales and I'm going to create a bar chart yeah it's quick as possible so I'll not add the sales I'll add profit ratio okay I'll make it just profit here click on this bar so I'm gonna sort it okay I'll just sort it here itself sorry click some profit yeah so this is how so we're going to work on the wildcard filter right so the wildcard filters only shows in dimension dimension filters okay so right click so the uh, here you can see these are all our dimensions so we have added the dimension as a subcategory in our canvas so i'm gonna click filter so here you can see general wildcard sorry I was uh, I have told in you in the earlier time there are only three kind of filters right there are four actually I forgot the condition here so you have condition filter also in the dimension so we'll work on the wildcard filter right now wildcard filter is something like um, see uh, if you are good with the SQL uh, you have a like clause here like uh, yay when you click on when you select where so column name and like a with the percentile symbol so you get the first character so here just forget it we'll just work on this itself so in the wildcard it says contains if the if the subcategory one second i'll just go back i'll just drag this and show from the beginning so i'll right click on it filter so on the wildcard you can see when you click on by default the contents A is selected if I click apply so all this data with A for example in the papers you can see there is A in shades, storage, appliances, arts and all those things so the the subcategory with contents A only show the data so only the data is shown here so this is the way so if a, there is anything which starts with A we'll see yeah there are three starts with A you will see if there are anything ends with A. There are nothing. We'll see if there are anything which is ending with S. Apply. Yeah, there is something ending with S. So this is how. So exact matches is something like if you want to search. Okay. So when I search only for the phones, I can see phones exact matches. So this is how you can do the filters with the file card so don't get confused what's this exclude exclude means which doesn't contains here all of them the data maximum data contains a which doesn't contains a we'll see first yeah this data doesn't contains a we'll see it doesn't start with a yeah this all data doesn't start with a doesn't ends with a yeah all of them mostly all of them doesn't end with a and uh, does not match so i'll just click phones here again like in the previous example so the phones will uh, remove i'll think phones will come out of it yeah there is no phones here right now so include all values when empty so if there are any empty values which will be included okay so when i remove this everything is gone it's a simple simple logic include all values when this is empty okay if this is em if this field is empty include all values so that was only supposed to say so this is how wildcard works so thank you guys thank you for watching